Peppa and George were in the living room, watching a really scary movie. In the movie, a ghost would call people on the phone. And just then, their phone started to ring. And then a ghost appeared in their living room. But it was just Mummy Pig underneath a bed sheet. She was doing laundry today, and she told Peppa and George, you really shouldn't be watching scary movies. But they wanted to see the end of the film, so they kept on watching. A short time later, George felt like he had to go pee. So he went off to use the toilet. Alone in the bathroom, George began to feel a little bit scared. So he looked around for any ghosts or monsters. And that's when he saw a ghost in the corner of the room. Oh no, the ghost is gonna get me, George thought. So he ran out of the bathroom. George ended up in the kitchen, but he still had to go pee, really badly. So George thought, maybe I can go pee right here and nobody will notice. So he opened up the fridge and began to go pee. After George was done, he closed the fridge door and then snuck off back to the living room. Peppa and George continued to watch the scary movie. But then, Peppa felt like she had to go pee as well. So she made her way to the bathroom. In the bathroom alone, Peppa began to feel a little bit frightened. And that's when she saw the ghost in the corner of the room. No evil ghost is gonna get me, Peppa thought. So she ran out of the bathroom. On her way back to the living room, Peppa found herself in the kitchen. And she thought, hmm, it kind of smells like pee in here. So I wonder if I take a pee in the kitchen, maybe nobody will notice. So she took the laundry bucket sitting on top of the counter and began to use it as a potty. After she was done, Peppa thought, I'd better hide this bucket of pee so nobody will find it. So she tucked it away and then went back to the living room. The scary movie was almost finished when they were interrupted by a surprise visit from the potty police. And the potty police said, there's been reports of peeing outside the bathroom. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? And Peppa replied, I, I smelt some pee in the kitchen earlier, but that wasn't me. And George said, yeah, I think there's some pee in the fridge, but that definitely wasn't me either. Well, the potty police didn't like their answers, so he put them in jail. And Peppa said, I shouldn't have taken a pee in the kitchen, but I was just too scared to use the bathroom. And George said, Yeah, me too. I wonder how long we're going to have to stay in jail for. 10 to 25, said the potty police as he came by their jail cell. 10 to 25 years? But I'll be an old lady by the time I get out. No, no, 10 to 25 minutes. I just want to learn the truth of what really happened, said the potty police. Then Peppa said, There was a ghost in the bathroom, so I ended up going pee in the kitchen. And George said, I saw the ghost too, and I had to go pee somewhere, so I ended up going in the fridge. And the potty police answered, You have to use a toilet. It's really inappropriate to go pee in the kitchen. But look, if you clean up your mess, I'll show you how to deal with ghosts and monsters in the bathroom. And Peppa replied, That sounds like a good deal. I just want to get out of this jail. And George said, Yeah, me too. And this jail cell kind of looks like our garage with our lawn furniture. So Peppa and George returned to the kitchen. And the potty police instructed them to clean up their mess. After a vigorous cleaning session, the kitchen was back to normal again. And the potty police said, and now I'll show you how to deal with monsters and ghosts in the bathroom. So the three of them entered the bathroom that was being haunted by the ghost. 
And the potty officer said, Ghosts and monsters aren't real. They're just in your imagination. Then he pulled the curtain off of the shower stand. And he said, See? There's nothing to be afraid of here. Scary movies can give you bad thoughts and bad dreams. Yeah, I'm not going to watch scary movies anymore, said George. Me neither, said Peppa. Sometimes it's helpful to have a bathroom buddy when you have to use the toilet, said the potty officer. That means you bring a friend to the bathroom, so you'll have some company and you won't get scared. Me and George can be bathroom buddies, said Peppa. That's a great idea, said George. Now neither of us has to visit the bathroom alone and we won't get scared. So what do you think? Should George and Peppa be bathroom buddies? Or should they just learn how to use the bathroom by themselves? Let me know in the comments below. Peppa was on the toilet trying to take a poo. She tried and tried, but nothing was coming out, even when she was pushing really hard. So Peppa thought, maybe I just won't take a poo today. And she got off the toilet. As Peppa started to leave the bathroom, a spider web suddenly caught her. And when she turned around, Spider-Man was in the bathroom with her. So Peppa asked, Spider-Man, what are you doing in the bathroom? And why did you capture me with your web? And Spider-Man said, I came because you needed help. And sometimes when I'm not fighting bad guys, I help people use the toilet. And I shot you with my web so you won't run away from your poo-poo problems. But Spider-Man, Peppa said, I really have to go poo right now, but nothing's coming out today. And Spider-Man said, That's a really common problem. Why don't we go talk to Mummy Pig? Maybe she'll have some ideas. So they left the bathroom and went to the kitchen. Mummy Pig was working in the kitchen when Peppa and Spider-Man showed up. And Peppa said, Mummy, I have a really uncomfortable problem. I have to go poo, but nothing's coming out. And Spider-Man here told me I should talk to you. Maybe you have some ideas that can help me. Well, said Mummy Pig, if you want to take big easy poos, you have to eat right. So I have to change my diet, thought Peppa. Then she moved over to the cherry pie and said, Will this help me take a poo? Well, probably not, said Mummy Pig. You need to eat something with a lot of fiber. Fiber? I wonder what that is, thought Peppa. And then she moved over to some ice cream cups and asked, Will this help me take a poo? And Mummy answered, Ice cream is just dairy mixed with sugar and some flavorings. It doesn't really have any fiber in it, so it won't help you take a poo. Then Peppa said, I gotta go poo so badly. Just tell me what I should eat. So Mummy Pig opened the fridge and got some food out for Peppa. Here, she said, you need to eat plants, like vegetables, fruits, and beans. They're loaded with fiber and can really help you go poo. Vegetables, Peppa said, but they don't taste as good as chocolate bars and potato chips. Then Spider-Man said, Vegetables are great for you, Peppa. You should just try some. They're not all that bad. So Peppa began to eat some vegetables. And just like Spider-Man said, they really didn't taste that bad. After she was done eating, Peppa felt a little better and she thought, maybe I'll take a poo later on. So she let off a few farts and then they left to go find Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig was working outside in the garden when Peppa and Spider-Man showed up. And Peppa explained, I really have to go poo today, but nothing's coming out. Do you have any advice for me? So Daddy Pig thought for a moment, and then he said, Oh yeah! If you want to take big easy poos, you gotta get some exercise. You're always on your iPad and playing video games. You need to run around for a bit. That'll help you take a poo. And Peppa replied, Well, I have been sitting around a lot lately. 
Maybe I should get outside more often to get some exercise. Then Spider-Man said, I get a lot of exercise, chasing down criminals and web-slinging through the city, and my poos are always big and easy. So Peppa began to jog around the garden. And it was really hard because she hadn't exercised for so long. And then, at the end of the run, she did a dance routine. After she was done, Daddy Pig and Spider-Man congratulated Peppa on her hard work. And Peppa felt a little better. She let off a few farts and thought, I'm going to take a poo today. Then they left the garden to go find George. George was in the living room watching TV. And Peppa explained, I gotta take a poo today, but nothing's coming out. So I'm going around looking for advice. And George said, Have you been sweating? You look a bit dehydrated. That means your body needs water. If you don't have enough water in your body, you can't go poo properly. <laughs> then Spider-Man said, I'm always sweating inside of this superhero costume. That's why I'm always drinking water to stay hydrated. Then George gave his water bottle to Peppa so she could take a big long drink. Then Peppa said, I feel so much better now. And she let off a few more farts. Wow, Peppa said. I think I have to go poo. Like right now. So Spider-Man and Peppa rushed to the toilet. When they got to the bathroom, Peppa said, Well, I ate some vegetables, got some exercise, and drank some water. And then, she jumped up on the toilet to try and take a poo. While Peppa was using the toilet, Spider-Man began doing a poo-poo dance. He said this dance would help Peppa take a poo, but maybe he was just getting bored. Finally, Peppa opened her eyes and said, I think I just took a really big poo. Well, we'd better make sure, said Spider-Man. So Peppa got off the toilet, and then they both looked into the toilet bowl to see what was in there. Poo is really dirty, said Spider-Man. So he used his special web to take a closer look at the poos without having to touch them. Wow, this one looks exactly like a banana, said Spider-Man. And Peppa replied, Well, I do like eating bananas. They're good for me. Then Spider-Man found another poo and said, This one looks exactly like Thomas the Steam Engine. That's one of my favorite toys, said Peppa. Oh, and this one looks like a Pokeball from Pokemon, said Spider-Man. I love video games, said Peppa. And on the last one, Peppa said, Hey, that looks just like you. I pooed out Spider-Man. Spider-Man was really impressed with all the poo, so he said, Let's flush it down and finish the job. Peppa gave it a big flush, and then washed her hands really well. Then Peppa came up to Spider-Man and said, Thanks for helping me take a poo today. I learned some very valuable lessons. And Spider-Man replied, No problem, Peppa. I'm glad I could help you with your poo-poo problems. <laughs>